scotch filet. <laughs> Does it make it fancy? Scotch filet. Scotch filet. Tonight, I am going to be making my own tortillas. Part too many. <laughs> Part too many and can't keep track. <laughs> so I just got picked up from school and from this lovely girl right here. And um, some girls just went past me and say, oh my gosh, she's foggy. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, it is a Friday. This is why I'm in Mufti with my t-shirt. Mufti meaning? Mufti meaning uh, can wear anything, any clothes or anything. Later. But we're gonna go pick up Sal now. Uh, I'm gonna go get some food for the girls. <gasps> Me? <laughs> yeah, just um, a drink. Hello, That's it. Darkness, Maybe something from the dairy. I've come to talk with Cut you. the camera. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you later. Bye. Welcome back. We are back home. Well, we came home. Yeah, we've been home much, for a while. much later. We've been home for a while. Yeah, we've been home for a while. I am cutting up some pork belly, as you can see, because my friends are coming over tonight. We're just gonna do dinner and drinks tonight here in my house. So Tara has chopped up some vegetables for their for their girls. Korean barbecue. Korean barbecue. And then this is the shrimp. <laughs> Prawn. Prawn. Dumplings. I love those. And some baby lettuce. Baby lettuce. And yeah. I am flattening the pork belly. I do it like that. I flatten it out because it cooks faster mm -hmm. on the on the barbecue grill or the grills that we have which I'll show you later. Mm -hmm. And it looks like that. Yeah. yeah. This is the one she did. This is how much she has left. Ooh. Yeah, this is the last piece, so I'm just cutting it. So the main meats for our barbecue, our Korean barbecue, is pork belly, because everyone loves pork belly, prawns, steak, and then my friend Mocha is bringing scotch filling. Here is baby Kavani. 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 Oh, yay! Hey, we got a smile. Oh, <laughs> we got a smile. That is the end of breaking news. Bye bye. Okay, so I set up the back for me and my friends when we have our Korean barbecue dinner tonight. They're on their um, they're on their way now. <coughs> Two grills on each side. We have baby lettuce, the vegetables, sauces, soy sauce, teriyaki sake, some more baby lettuce. This is the steak that we're gonna cook. And then in the freezer, holy crap. In the freezer, we have our drinks. That has to be the prawns, our drinks. There's the dumplings and then the pork belly. Now it's a bit windy outside, even though it doesn't look like it's windy, but it was windy. So I put up this wooden divider and then I covered it with a, a black tablecloth just to, you know, kind of help with the wind. It's a bit chilly tonight. The grill is getting nice and hot. Now we're going to add the steaks. Ooh, listen to that sizzle. Mm. Kavani, Mr. Kavani just woke up from his long nap. So just me and Kavani at home. Everyone's at work, everyone's at school. And he is trying to reach for everything right now. One leg out of the onesie, one leg inside the onesie. I don't know, he just managed to break free when he was taking a nap, right? Yeah? You wanna say hi? That's the one. So I just wanna quickly change him. 
let's try and do this transition okay see let's see if it's clean ready one two or maybe let's take this out smile baby baby hey look ready hey hi okay you can stop doing that face so transitions over yeah what are you wearing today are you wearing a turtle do you love turtles ew are you showing everyone your teeth is that Kalani? Say hi. <coughs> oh, thank you, baby. You have two teeth? Huh? Yeah? Okay. Should we go upstairs and eat? Are you hungry? You want to eat? <laughs> I like your ponytail. I like your little pony. <laughs> Okay, say bye-bye. Bye-bye, see you later. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> see you guys later. What's up, FM? Welcome back to another vlog. We have Bestie in the back. Hi, guys. <laughs> we are about to go out for lunch. Uh, me and Sarah are catching up. We're having a lunch date with um, our third wheeler. <laughs> Plus, everyone's at work and school, so he has to come with us. But um, we're going to go check out this um, new cafe that's in Otara. Um, for some of you that live in Auckland, you guys probably heard of it on TikTok. And that's how I found out about it was on TikTok. Sarah came through and found it on TikTok because I forgot what it was called because it's so brand new. And it's called Alexandra's Caf Alexander's Cafe. Mm. Oh, the Alexander Cafe. Yeah, Alexander. Anyways, you'll see it when we get there. But... Um, yeah, that's what's happening today, but we'll see you guys when we get to Otara. Knocked out before we can even get here. Salmon Benny, Egg Benedict, and the Sarah. That looks good. Avocado smash. Avocado smash with a side of bacon. That looks so good. Gotta have the gram. <laughs> Photo for the gram. <laughs> Hi guys! So we just finished um, brunch? Lunch? Yeah. Yeah, Lunch. something like that. Um, the Alexander Cafe. It was really nice. They got really nice food. Um, they don't have much. What's it called? Um, they don't have much like um, things on the menu to choose from. I but think they've got breakfast, right? Yeah, it's more of like a breakfast cafe. But they have they um, they have it all day, so it was really good. We're just on our way to where are we going? Um, oh, to look Ferguson? for yeah, to Ferguson to look for that. Um, that cafe Tara's on about. We have no idea. It's another TikTok. It's like um she found it on TikTok. So we're gonna go find that cafe. Not to eat, but just not to eat. eat. <laughs> but really. Just in case you guys think we're gonna go eat again. But maybe. <laughs> so what happened was she she said she wanted to go check out the cafe, right? And then I thought she had she know where it is. Oh god. But no. So if you're whoever posted a video on TikTok and you know you you know where the cafe or you know what cafe Tara's talking about, please comment down below I because know, we want to know where it is. I'm just assuming that it's in Ferguson. It's it could it could be somewhere else. But guys, you like my new hair? Yeah. I got a bob cut. Nice. And blonde. And nice. <laughs> thanks sis, when are you gonna get a bob cut? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Why are we gonna be twinning again? <laughs> hey, at least we're not wearing the same thing today. <laughs> oh yeah, true. We're always wearing the same something. It's always something. It's always something. I think. What's that sign? What's the what? sign on what? the right? What? I can't even read it. Oh no, it's not. Tabaka? Oh, <laughs> tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. No, it's tobacco. It's tongue and tobacco. Oh, what is tongue, it? Tongue and tobacco. Oh. Yeah, that's the place we wanted to go to. <laughs> we'll get back to you when we find it. <laughs> okay, so um, that was a fail. <laughs> We didn't end up finding whatever I was trying to it's this cafe honestly this cafe that I've seen on TikTok It's not the one that we went to that was a different one. We found on TikTok um, That Sarah found but um, I thought it was the one until we got there It wasn't but anyways and now we're parked up at um, Barry what Barry Ferris Barry Kurt. Oh, we're parked up at Barry Curtis Park um, This is it's actually close by to our old house where we used to live here in Flatbush. We're just gonna quickly eat our Sundays and then we're gonna head back to our area um, before the girls get off school and before Miss um, Filipino in the back has to go make her adobo for dinner tonight. <laughs> Guys, this one is making like non stop adobo. If you guys know what adobo is, <laughs> but yeah. I'll probably put a picture of uh, adobo here, but it's a Filipino dish and that's what she's making again because she's made it before. Do you do Uber Eats? Oh. <laughs> Sad life. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you guys later. Say goodbye. Hi. Oh, hi. Smile. Come on, Ni. Come on, Ni. Say hi. Hey, no, Say what you eat. Where are we? Huh? Oh no, Hi. not the smothers. <laughs> Are you getting smothered? <gasps> yeah. He's <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> huh. We are currently at Joselle's school. Kavani is free now. He's happy he's free. But um, we're just picking up Jo oh, waiting for Joselle actually. We're waiting for Joselle to get off school and then we'll head home. This one's happy he's out of his car seat. <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> Don't pull mommy's earring. Yeah, you're so lovely. You wanna go outside? Wanna go outside? Ah, baby! <laughs> Monster! <laughs> oh, cheeky! Yeah. I know I'm loving you anymore. So cheeky. <laughs> hey, what's up everyone? Um, happy Friday. Um, it's coming to the end of our weekly vlogs. Well, that's what I'm trying to do, weekly vlog. As you can hear, the girls are with Cavani. They're watching him while I am in the kitchen. I'm gonna actually cook dinner today, or actually, I cook dinner every night. Oh, so for dinner tonight, we are having tacos. We're gonna have steak tacos, and I'm gonna try, for the first time, shrimp tacos. Whenever we go to the States, we always have to try a taco stand, like those street tacos. There's never a miss. So it's been a while since we've been back to America on our date or on our yearly trips because of COVID. But tonight I am going to be making my own tortillas, my own corn tortillas. But here in, in New Zealand, they actually have a Mexican supplier. Uh, sounds so wrong. They have a Mexican supplier, so I'm, I ordered the specific flour, corn flour, to make corn tortillas. But yeah, they have it. It's called masa. It just came today. So once I saw the box, I knew we we're gonna have to have tacos tonight. Ta -da! I am so excited. So if you live in New Zealand and you're looking for a Mexican supplier, Mexican food and beverages supplier, Mexi Foods. This is the corn flour that I purchased. Maseca. Oh yeah, so it's called masa, M-A-S-A. So this is the masa flour that I bought in order to make the corn tortillas. And I found a recipe online which is really like easy and simple to make. All you need is masa, salt, warm water, and corn flour 
also you know known as cornstarch yeah that's what, that's what I'm gonna do and let's get straight into it I kneaded it for five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and make little round balls. One. I rolled up all the tortilla balls and I'm covering it for 15 minutes with a damp paper towel. And I'm just gonna let it sit. And then once it's ready, I'll, I'll show you how to press it. So what we need to press, cause I don't have a presser thing. I'll probably put a picture around here. I don't have this uh, tortilla presser, but they do have it online for $50. Get a baggie, scissors, and then we're gonna cut this off and then cut the sides off. And then here, I'll just show you. Okay, so I took off the, uh, the sealed part and I cut, cut the sides. So it's gonna look like this. So like I said, we don't have a tortilla presser, so instead I'm gonna use a pot. And I'll show you how, middle. So it doesn't stick, I guess it's like easier. Then you're gonna take your pot and squish it down. So like I said, it's gonna be a size of a street taco. So they're really small. Ooh, I'm just trying to get this blood. Ooh, look at that. I put it on the skillet here. I think I said 10 seconds on one side, flip it over another 10, and then the other side, 15. But I'll get back to you on that one. Now I have a chance. I'll quickly show you guys what my first set of tacos, or no, tortillas look like. They were in the oven, keeping warm. So... These are my tortillas. They're nice and, oh, they're still hot. Ooh, still hot, so that's what it looks like. I'm not really happy with how it turned out. Um, I made a second batch and hopefully that turns out better. To keep them warm, YouTube said to put them in a towel. But they do have taco warmers, but we don't have that here. So just improvise. Cover it with a tea towel. Cilantro. I just kept it in the oven on warm so that the towel doesn't burn. I have the second batch of tortillas here. Um, they turned out a lot better than the first one, but we'll see. Oh, we'll find out once I put it on the pan. I made a batter because we're gonna have shrimp tacos. So I'm gonna deep fry the shrimp and then C is gonna make, ooh, excuse the mess. C is gonna make steak for our steak tacos and then he made a big bowl of pickle de gallo. And pickle de gallo we have tomatoes, onions, cilantro cori or coriander with lime juice. Okay, I'm gonna get started on the Shrimp. Who wants to stand in there? No, don't stand in there. Hey, what are you doing? And Cavani just woke up from his nap. He's gonna get hair in it. Hey. On his feet. Okay, I'm done with the tortillas now. It's just warming up in the oven. I'm on the shrimp and deep frying the shrimp. And it looks like this. And we're gonna eat it with our tacos. Okay, next up we have steak. What is this, sirloin? Is this sirloin? Uh, scotch fillet. Okay, we have scotch fillet and C seasoned it really well and he's gonna cook them. And I'll show you how. But first, while we're waiting, I'm gonna make a sauce. This is my salsa verde that I usually make, but I'm gonna make a, something different. Okay, and this is the salsa. I am improvising because there's no sour cream, but it's okay. We have avocado, cilantro, jalapenos, um, garlic, and then a little bit of mayo. And here's the sauce. It looks like guacamole and it tastes like guacamole with jalapenos. Okay, so we have the shrimp, we have the guac, we have the pickle de gallo, and then we're just waiting for... Uh, our steak, excuse the mess. 
Scotch fillet. <laughs> Does it make it fancy? Scotch fillet. Scotch fillet. Just kidding. Scotch fillet. Look at that fat. It looks divine. Ooh, it's hot. Thank you. Our little makeshift taco warmer. Hopefully the tortillas turn out good. Good? Good. <laughs> oh, look at this one. Yana? Yana's oh. sick at the moment. Mm. Funny. Okay. <gasps> oh, medium rare. Look at the season on that. Um, like taco stand, taco stand. Oh, that knife though. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> this is the steak. That's <laughs> oh, Look at our tacos. <laughs> this is what we're having. Steak taco and shrimp tacos. Yay, winning. Okay, so we're gonna get Cavani's reaction. When we play Coco Melon. Yeah. Oh, stinking ads. Sorry. Oh, oh fail. Oh, here, okay, ready? Mom, call him. Honey, ready? one more time so I can so not only does he react to Coco Melon he reacts to my intro as well what a loyal fan I know <laughs> hey, lo Mommy, loyal one. mommy's biggest fan Batilima 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 You love mommy's vlogs? Ah! He wants to look at it. <laughs>